year at the Creative Arts Festival, it was so nice to see all of my hard work up on the walls for everyone to see at the Salamanca Arts Centre. Creative Arts Festival has been absolutely fabulous this year. We've been showcasing work from kindergarten through to year 10 and this year we've even included pre-kinder. So our launch into learning children who are uh, three uh, and four uh, uh, have got beautiful collaborative uh, works uh, on display. One of the fantastic things though about the festival is that it also showcases the process as well as the end product. We traditionally have gone over to Salamanca because it is the creative hub centre of Hobart. We do have a drama production, or performing arts production, as the centrepiece, and this year it happens to be much ado about nothing. It's not the first Shakespeare we've done, we did Midsummer Night's Dream four years ago, so it's unusual for a, a school with um, students in year 9 and 10 are tackling much ado, but we've done it. It a, has a big 60s sort of feel. There's a 60s girl group chorus in there. We have our warriors are uh, the Australian cricket team, if you like, which is our representative of our hero. Talking heads, the retrospective. So we've had students come back from over the last, you know, seven, eight years, and it's quite interesting watching the resonances, especially when they're seven and eight years older. <laughs> they're actually old enough to play some of the parts they're playing now too. So, you know, within all of that, it's still that element of challenging and pushing our students to go further than they really is. They realise they could actually could go. And that's, that's, I think, has been probably the best thing about the festival. Music's been quite big in the festival this year, so um, the Much Ado About Nothing play has incorporated music um, to quite a high level for the, for the first time, which is fantastic. So we had a, a stage band as part of that, directed by Mark Schmalfus, um, and we had a, a variety of very talented students playing in that. Um, and then of course we had a music soiree, um, that's something that's been part of the festival for quite a few years now. Uh, in, the, in the long gallery space, which is a beautiful space for music. Um, so that uh, featured a range of students from grade 3 to grade 10, um, all of different ranges and abilities and instruments, and um, yeah, they showcase that on Saturday afternoon. It's a great experience for the kids to see their work exhibited at a gallery like Salamanca. For the simple fact that it really validates their work, taking it outside of a peer arena, and having it curated on walls adds an extra dimension of specialness that they see their work truly valued. And also, to enlarge that context, we've started as our second year now conducting master classes. Uh, we bring in professionals from other areas. Um, this year it was Effie Pryor. She's a portraitist, um, old scholar of Dominic, but practicing professionally. Uh, and we also had, had Jake Seven do a street art yeah. workshop, which was stencil cutting and the real reversal of image. And that lends a beautiful credibility and excitement in the students who actually want to see artists practicing. They actually know that this is not just a subject to enjoy, it's actually a future. There's a future here. You can take this further. And that's what the workshops really engendered. It was terrific again this year to have those two workshops run concurrently.
Um, well, rather than making work like specifically, uh, say for the festival with a theme, it was just all the work that the kids had made. So from year sevens, they had everything from masks to skulls. Year eight, did a whole uh, series of printmaking, plus all their beautiful, really colourful skateboards. So that was kind of their painting. Seniors, obviously nines and tens, their directive is to create work for the festival so that they can each have their own space. So it's been a fantastic, exciting uh, uh, festival this, this year and I really admire our students, their courage, their risk taking in their artistic processes and we can only congratulate them and commend them on what they've produced.